Bye. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. I think we can have a few a couple of more songs. Amen. I'm trying to rescue my brother there. I see he was getting into the spirit faster than uh, he normally does because he's standing in front of people. Amen. I think uh, he's going to get out of the nerves. Amen. But maybe we can sing a couple of songs. There was a good singing coming from the back there, our sisters there. Maybe we can lead us into one song, sisters. Amen. As we just stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Let's just change our positions. Amen. Let's sing a nice song. Amen. Our brother is going to sing a couple more services and he's going to get into it nicely. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's one that says, Hallelujah, ho, Sana, Hallelujah, ho. Father, you are the fairest of ten thousands. You are the lily of the valleys. 
Lord God Almighty, you are the rose of Shem. You are the all-sufficient one. Lord God Almighty, Lord, that's why we are here, Lord. We have left our way. We have left our status. We have left everything behind. Because, Lord, there is no one, there is nothing that compares with you. You are the all-sufficient one, Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord God, you are all that we need. Lord God, we need you more than this heavenly life. Lord God, yes, your Oh God, Psalm says, Lord, hallelujah. Lord God, thy loving kindness is better than life. Lord God, you are worth it. You are worth more, Lord God Almighty, than our studies. You are worth more than our jobs. You are worth more than our careers. Anything we can compare, there is nothing that compares with it. Father, Lord God, even our families don't compare with it. Father, Lord God Almighty, that's why, Lord God Almighty, we come, Lord, we just shut down our systems. Lord God Almighty, oh God Almighty, and oh God, Heavenly Father, tune in, Lord God, to the heavenly antenna. Lord God, that we might hear from heaven. Mighty God, say something tonight to your children. Lord God, encourage us where we need encouragement. Lord God Almighty, rebuke us where we need rebuke. Lord God, give grace. Lord God, fill us, Lord God, with the spirit of obedience. We pray for meeting everything to your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Says one to greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We're so happy to see everyone here. Hallelujah. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, we, we, we don't always have the opportunity to come together. But on Fridays like this, here, you know, as students and, you know, people at the university here. And uh, we really cherish these uh, opportunities. I received a quote from one brother just before I came here. Who was sharing, you know, our brother's love, sharing quotation. which is beautiful. And, uh, you know, how that uh, when things tighten up, we, we realize that we actually needed these opportunities more that we appreciate them now. Yeah. Are we together tonight, saints? Amen. Amen. There's going to be a time where we can't gather like this. Are we together? Amen. I'm not trying to prophesy doom, but we know that's where things are going. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we appreciate everyone that could make it tonight. Amen. And our precious uh, visitors there, I can see some couple of new faces. Uh, we normally just ask people to introduce them themselves. I don't know if you can do it for us uh, so that everyone can just know you. I think, sister, you've been here, right? Uh, she's been here, yeah, but I think two sisters can just introduce yourselves so that everyone can just know you. Uh, I know Brother Abe maybe knows you, or Brother Ongi maybe knows you, but some might not know you. Maybe you can just introduce yourself, Sister Ben, and get Uh, we'll try and package it to the students 
Amen. Because the Bible talks about, the prophet even talks about test after test. And there's no one else who understands test like students. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So you guys, you know, you understand the language that I'm going to be speaking about. Because some of you are even writing a test on Monday. Or oh, you've written a test. So the language is going to be very clear. But let's go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7. It says here, That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor to the glory. Uh, and, sorry, the, uh, praise and honor and glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are we together tonight? Amen. So the Bible is talking here about trial being more precious than the trial of God. Which trial? The trial of your faith. Are we together? Amen. But if you understand how gold is tried, oh, hallelujah. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a blessing. You will take a seat, saints. May God bless the name of His word. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I really don't mind if you say amen. 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 Because, you know, you're not saying amen to my word. You're saying amen to the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's just some ground rules. I think I've always mentioned this, that if you say amen, you're not disturbing me. Amen. Are we together amen. tonight? Amen. Because we're talking about here, the trial of faith. Oh, glory. Amen. What is faith? But the Bible says faith is the sixth sense. Are we together? Amen. If I say something that sounds like a quotation, please say it. He says faith is a revelation. He says faith, hallelujah. Mm. Oh, the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. Amen. The evidence of things not seen. That's the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. But then, here, Peter comes and says, the trial of your faith. In other words, your revelation is going to be tried. Amen. Your sixth sense is going to be tried. Uh -huh. Your super sense is going to be tried. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yeah. Your substance is going to be tried. At some point, Abraham says, faith is the purchase power. It's like the buying power. Do you know you can buy by faith? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Faith is a currency. Faith is something you can use to buy, to buy your healing. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think we need to, 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 to lift up our faith a little. Tonight. Yeah. Are we together tonight? Yeah. Faith coming by hearing. Mm. By hearing the word of God. Are we together tonight? Yeah. So faith, hallelujah, yeah. is the substance of things hoped for. Yeah. The evidence of things not seen. Yeah. Hallelujah. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Yeah. Through faith we understand that the world is framed by the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. So God had to believe his own word for, for the word to be manifested. God had to use faith. Yeah. You realize that if God did not have faith, there was not going to be a mountain. Yeah. There was not going to be a river. There was not going to be anything seen or visible if Amen. God did not believe His own word. Amen. So do you see how important faith is? Amen. That's why the Bible says faith and love, they are twins. Yeah. Because we know God is love, but God has to believe His own word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One day when you marry Brother Abby, hallelujah, Amen. faith and love must go together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't have love without faith. Amen. You can't have faith without love. Amen. You have faith because you love. You have love because you have faith. Are we together? Oh, they are twins. They are sisters, Brother Branham says. Are we together? Amen. But then, I love the definition he really gives when he says, faith is the revelation of the will of God. Mm. Are we together? Amen. This is, these are quotations I'm bringing out to you. Mm. Brother Branham says that, I think, in a message, works as faith express. You know, he says, faith is the revelation of the will of God. Are we together? Amen. So, faith is like a vision. Yeah. Oh, my brother. You know, some of these messages, I, 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 I wouldn't preach. I was not going to plan to preach a message like this here. But I preach like this when I'm preaching in a church. So. Yeah. <laughs> Are we together? Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. So, in the message, uh, uh, there's a message, why Christ speak? But what I'm saying faith is a long-range vision. Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. Faith is, is, is something that you can use to see very far. Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. Amen. This is the definition of faith according to the end time message. Yeah. We're not talking about the faith that the Pentecostals play with and say, I have faith, but they don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a definition of what Abraham says, Moses. Oh. Hallelujah! Yeah. Moses. He saw the children of Israel when they were mad dappers. Moses saw them in the promised land. How did he see that? Because Moses had a gift of faith. Yeah. 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 You like preaching. 
Are we together? Amen. In the message, why Christ came from Abraham says, Pharaoh did not help him. That's why Pharaoh saw my dabbas. But Moses, because he had an equipment. Are we together? Amen. To yourself at home, I can go and listen to that message. 1963, but I preached that message twice. 1959, 1963. The 1963 one, he talks about, you know, faith is a long range vision. Amen. Then he says, Moses, hallelujah. Moses was born with the gift of faith. Amen. My brother, hallelujah. Moses had a gift of faith. Hallelujah. It was born in him until when he looked at the same window that father was looking at. Amen. Moses saw the children of Israel in the promised land. Amen. Amen. And Pharaoh saw slaves. <laughs> what do you see when you look at the brother next to you? When you look at the sister next to you, do you see a student at this? Or do you see a son of God? Amen. Do you see a daughter Amen. of God when you look at your mother? Amen. Do you see a South African? Amen. Do you see? Hallelujah! What do you Amen. see? Amen. When you're looking at the preacher, what do you see? Do you see a lecture? <laughs> and uh, faith is a long range vision. In other words, faith sees what God wants done. Amen. Amen. Faith sees what God wants done. And it works accordingly. Amen. Are we together? Amen. So this is what we're talking about. But we're saying that vision is going to be tried. When we're talking about the trial of our faith, we're saying whatever however you define faith, it's going to be tried. Lord. When Abraham comes in the message, faith is your, faith is your victory. Are we together? Amen. Well, we know what we're talking about. Amen. He says in the message, faith is your victory, 1958. But Abraham says, Hallelujah! Amen. He says, faith is not just a peacemaker. Yeah. Faith is an overcomer. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen. So faith overcomes the disease. Faith overcomes the gossip. Faith overcomes the doubt. Amen. Faith overcomes whatever the devil puts on you. Faith overcomes. Amen. 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 Then the prophet comes and he says, Faith is our victory. Mm. Are we together? Oh, so if faith is our victory, that victory is going to be tried. <laughs> Are we together? Amen. The trial of your faith is a trial of your revelation. Is a trial of your substance. Is a trial of your victory. Is a trial of your vision. Is a trial of your sixth sense. Amen. Are we together? Yeah. In other words, Hallelujah, God is going to put it to the test. There's a quote where Brother Barnum says, God loves to put your faith to yeah. the test yeah. until it will react. Amen. Amen. I know some are doing science here. Lord. You know, a reaction. Hallelujah. Amen. There must be something. Hallelujah. When you put something in a in a test tube, whatever. You are last those, did those things I don't know how many years ago. Amen. I mean the mathematical scientists. I'm not in the lab said and those things. I think I last did that in high school somewhere. When they put something in the in the whatever, you know, test tube, and then they say we're putting this into whatever uh, chemical there, and something must react. Are we together? Yeah. So God wants your faith to be to, to be tested like Amen. Are we together? Yeah. In other words, your faith is going to be tested, test after test, trial after trial. Mm -hmm. Until brother, hallelujah, it remains, hallelujah, pure like gold. Oh, Even yeah. more than how gold gold is pure Amen. when gold is tried. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Amen. How did they try gold in that in the early days? My brother says they would beat it. And then they will turn it. Amen. They will beat it, and then they will turn it. They will beat it, and then they will turn it until the bitter sees his reflection in the gold. Amen. And Brother Brown says that's what God does with His church. He says trial after trial. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Yeah. He beats you, and He's not beating at the same place. By the way, He turns you. Hallelujah. Amen. He turns you. He beats you at a different place. He turns you. And in the message, faith of it, the Bible says he beats you until you look straight to Calvary to the one who's doing the beating. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, if you're building, beating a child and the child is still looking that way, you say, you, you still don't know who is your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So God does that in the church. He beats you until you look straight to Calvary. Amen. Away from the things of the world. Amen. Away. Hallelujah, my brother. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. That trial of your faith is much more precious mm. than of gold. Amen. Because gold will perish. Mm -hmm. But that faith, brother, mm. hallelujah, in the message, faith is a victory. I love how the prophets 
you know, I, I, I preach this subject usually all, all night or something, where, you know, people are coming believing for big things. Yeah. But I know you're also believing for big things. Yeah. 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 You know, Brother Brown talks about, you know, God bless you, brethren. He talks about, welcome, brethren. I mean, if I preach long, please blame these brothers. Because now we have to repeat what I just said, because they also need it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's just some sense of humor, the brother said all that. But in the message, the of victory, Brother Brown says, let God, he says, Dr. Jesus. Oh, oh my Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, we are eating the spoken word, brother. Mm. We are not preaching from a baby somewhere of T.D. Jakes or something. Amen. That's not where we preach from. Mm. Oh, that sounds, that doesn't sound very polite for me to speak like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But I don't mean what I just said. <laughs> Hallelujah. We don't listen to T.D. Jakes and then we come to preach. No, we don't do that. We are listening to the message, brother. Amen. Amen. If you listen to the message, faith is our victory. Towards the end of the message, brother, what I'm talks about Dr. Jesus. Amen. He says, let Dr. Jesus operate on your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, let him operate on your faith. In other words, there is something there on your faith that needs to be cut out. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is a little doubt there, brother Eddie. Yeah. Hallelujah. There is a Amen. little skepticism there. There is something that your faith is mixed up in. Mm. He wants to cut it. How does he cut it? By the sword of the world. Amen. That's what he's doing right now. He's operating on your faith. Mm. Are we together? Amen. Brother, I mean, sometimes our faith is mixed up with hope, you know. Amen. Or our faith is mixed up, you know, with motivation speaking. Hmm. Are we together? Me, I'm not a motivation speaker. Amen. Amen. May God help me one day, you know, to motivate people. I think it's good to motivate people. But me, I like to show people the reality, brother. Amen. That you are going to be tested. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you are a first case student here at the university, you are going to be tested. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. You can't just come here. The devil is not going to allow you to just come here and go back home without a test. No. There's going to be a test that will come your way. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that's what I'm talking about. But what I'm here to encourage you with is the fact that God knew about that test. Yeah. God put an equipment in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. Can you read with me? Hallelujah. Those that I'm sure you can follow. But if you are trying to say to me that there's a baby upstairs, that is a projector. Maybe next time we must try so that we get projected and all that. But I mean, your phones, then you can check with me. If you go to the message, why Christ speak? But what I'm saying is, Moses was born with an equipment. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Amen. Do you know you have an equipment? Right there where you're sitting. Yeah. Do you know you have an equipment? Amen. Oh, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't believe by mistake. Hallelujah. There Amen. is something that God put in you. Yeah. At some point, brother, but I'm saying, you know, before you came to this earth, God put like a little pin in your heart. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Amen. We're talking about predestination. We're talking about what God did. Did you realize that actually what you what we call faith? That's why the Bible says, add to your faith. Mm -hmm. You don't add faith. Are we together? Amen. You don't Amen. come here and say, wait, 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 do I start? Where is faith? No, you don't look for faith. Yeah. Faith is already in you. Amen. You add, hallelujah, knowledge to the faith. You add veg, you add whatever you are adding, but you are adding to what? To the faith. So where is faith? Faith is already there. Mm. Are we together? Amen. Someone is thinking, ah, maybe I need to, to go, I need to run up and down before I can believe. No, you already believe. That's why you are here tonight. Oh, are we together? Amen. Amen. Do you know that even for you to sleep, it is an act of faith? Yeah, By the way, they say today is won't sleep. Won't sleep day. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm getting for people to sleep a little more, you know, because of mental health and all that. Are mm -hmm. we together? Amen. But even for you to close your eyes, it's an act of faith. Welcome, yeah. brothers. Hallelujah. Amen. You're most welcome. Hallelujah. It's an act of faith for you to even eat. Do you know you don't go to dine to the dining hall there? You don't know how to cook that food. Mm. You don't know what's going on in that food. But it's an act of faith for you to eat that food. Glory. You are believing that that food is going to do what food is supposed to do. Amen. Are we together? Amen. When you lift your leg and you drop it, you is an act of faith. Amen. 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 What if someone convinces you that you are going to see? Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. When you lift your leg, you have faith that you are not going to see. Glory. Amen. <laughs> are we together? Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You have faith that uh, when I lie on this bed, tomorrow morning I'll be happy. Mm. Amen. That's why. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, sorry, 
if I make a little more noise. Are there some people might not understand? Where is this man making noise? There is something that is springing in me. Oh, yeah. The thing that I'm talking about, brother, I believe it with all my heart. Oh, yeah. in, the, in the days of the first exodus. Are we together? Mm. Our brother brought a visitor there. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that this is going to enjoy what I'm talking about. We're talking about the trial of our faith, brother. Mm. And we read a scripture from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 7. I read the Bible talks about the trial of our faith. Do you realize that in the exo, in the first exodus, they were told that they had to apply hisop. They had to apply so not hisop, but blood on the wall. They had to apply blood on the doors, rather. You know how they applied that blood? They used hisop. We know where that hisop was found. You did not have to walk five kilometers to find that hisop. Mm. You would just have to put your hand outside the window Amen. and you grab hisop. Are we together? Amen. It was a common faith. Are we together, my brother, my sister? Amen. So do you realize that you have a lot of faith right there for your sister? Mm. That's the faith that some of these sangomas must use. When they say to people, I mean, I, you have this trouble, you have this trouble, you have this trouble. And then someone says, I feel much better now. I mean, they are using your faith to, to steal your money. People are not understanding what I'm talking about. Darling. Darling. Your faith can move mountains. Mm. Your Amen. faith can do many big things, and the Sangoma mm. knows that. Those witches, whoever, you know, the, you know these false prophets, they know that. Mm. You have faith. Right. So, what do they do? They try to show you some gimmick somewhere Earlier, that makes you engage your faith. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Then, when you leave that place, you say, ah, things are going to be okay. Mm. But it's not, they're not going to be okay because of the Sangoma. They're going to be okay because of your faith. Amen. Mm. Are we together? Amen. Amen. How much more will you put that faith in the word of God? Mm. How much more will it achieve? Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A trial of your faith. I want to read something here to make sure that everyone is with us. There's a place where Brother Rob talks about the equipment. Moses was born with an equipment. Equipment. Oh, this is a beautiful quote. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you still enjoying the service? Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. So he talks about it in the message, Why can I speak? Oh my, beautiful. Paragraph 30. He says here, Moses was born in this world a gifted boy. Yeah. Are we together? Amen. Do you know you're a gifted boy, you're a gifted sister, right there where you're sitting? You are, you are a gifted believer. Hallelujah. Amen. Of course, maybe not on the level of Moses, but on the level of believing the message of Moses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we together? He was born a prophet. A deliverer. You are born a believer. Are we together tonight? Amen. He was born with the equipment born in him. And as every man that comes into this world is born with this equipment. <laughs> are we together, Brother Abby? Yes. Amen. Do you realize that when you're sitting in class, there's something that you have that someone when you sitting next to you might not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was speaking like this the other time, saying that you know a believer. You know, you other people are starting with five senses, you are starting with six senses. Amen. Yeah. What an advantage, brother. Mm. Amen. It's an unfair advantage. There's something that tells you that what the lecturer is saying, ah, that what he's saying is not important. There's something that tells you. Mm. There's something that can tell you that what he's saying now, no matter how that how low his tone is, you can feel that this thing is important. Lord. There's Amen. a sixth sense that operates within you. Amen. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. I was a student before. Amen. As I firmly believe in the full knowledge of God, my grandpa was on there. So, we're just bringing it there. But there's another quote I want to bring there. In the message, time tested memorials. I'm sure you can hear the message you're quoting from. Hallelujah! Amen. In the message, time tested memorials. Listen to what the messenger says here. It's beautiful. Can I have an amen? Amen. amen. He says here, thank you. He says here, a long time ago, of course, we talked about this. Um, oh my, just to show you that this code actually exists. Long time ago, before they held the smelters, they used to take the gold. They would, and how would they know that it was right or not? And all the sludge was out of it. Mm. Can you see what the message is talking about? Amen. So in other words, there is something in the gold mm. that is not supposed to be there. Mm. Are we together? Amen. There is something in your faith that is not supposed to be there. Amen. Are we together? Amen. So what do they do with the gold? They take it to the fire. Mm. So God takes your faith to the fire. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'm sure some, most of us will refuse. Mm. <laughs> say, no, my faith is perfect, Lord. Amen. No, but this is not this is not an optional subject. Amen. Hallelujah. Like we had, you know, it's 
is the university of adversity. Mm. My brother was preaching two weeks ago. He said, I mean, many people will choose not to come to maybe to this university, they choose to come to Bates. How many of you chose to come to Bates? You chose to go to UJ. Mm. I, mean, you, I chose to, I didn't choose actually. I, I got a Bates and that took me to another university. You know, which is not this one. But the point is, people choose, right? Yeah. And the brother was here two weeks ago, he said, the university of adversity. You actually don't choose. You don't apply. Mm. You just enroll there. <laughs> Are we together? Yeah. You're just enrolled in the university of adversity. Yeah. It's a university where God takes all his children. Mm. Are we together? Yes. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Mm. The bitters beat it. Are you, why are they beating it? Because they want to take the fool's gold out of it. They yeah. want to take the sludge out of it. Yeah. Are we together? Mm -hmm. All the fool was out of it. The bitters beat it and beat it and tend it. Mm. Are we together? Amen. Amen. So, so God is not beating in the same place. Mm. Today is beating here, tomorrow is beating there. I'm sure you can see that I'm very far from being a motivational speaker, right? <laughs> <laughs> May God help me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. It's good to motivate people, but I think I'm very I'm cut very differently. Mm. Hallelujah. You know, people don't like this kind of preaching, but I think people need this kind of preaching. Amen. 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 If I was coming here and I say, receive your car, receive this. I mean, this was going to be full, baby. <laughs> and beat it and tend it until the bitter see his reflection in the court. That's the way God does his church. He gives you trial after trial, Amen. test after test. Amen. Amen. I think this is the language students understand. Mm. Yeah. You're not writing one test, brother. Yeah. It's wow. a test after a test. True, yeah. Trial after trial, test after test, until the life of Christ is reflected in your life. Until you become peaceful, sober, meek, gentle, humble, ready, submissive, willing. Amen. Turn your head from the things of the world and looking straight to Calvary to the one who is doing it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. It's only done to test you. To get the debt out of you, to get the sludge out of you, to get the slowness out of you. Some of us are very slow. Mm. Like you find your brother sometimes he lives on campus, but he can't even make it for church on time. I'm talking about like just the service here on time. Mm. Mm. I mean, if you're living on campus, I think uh, you should be the first person here, really. really I think. <laughs> <laughs> but you're slow. <laughs> the, 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 the court says that to get the slowness out of you. Hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> To wake you up. Do you know there's, there's something called sleepwalking? Mm. Is it called sleepwalking? Mm. Yes. Sleepwalking. There's some people who walk while they're asleep. Trials will take that out of you. <laughs> <laughs> you walk here when you're sleeping. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know there's someone who, who, who only here maybe on the day of the test that is a test. And he's been raised for this course for the last two months. And he on the day of the test that there's a test. I didn't know there's a test. He's still walking. <laughs> How are you together? I'm trying to package what we're talking about to what actually the need is here. To wake you up. Mm, my brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Some brothers are so asleep, you know, that they can't even see. Hallelujah. They can't even see. Hallelujah, that there is God's children in the church there that they can be friends with. They want to go there to some uh, worldly woman out there. They are so asleep. Amen. To wake you to the place, I didn't hear amen from the brothers, only by the phone. <laughs> <laughs> to the place where you can look and, and see the reflection, or make you see the reflection of Christ in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. I want to go to another court. Hallelujah. Amen. Where the prophet talks about where they wanted to build a bridge. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe we can look at this one here quickly. Where he talks about Augustus Caesar. Mm. In the message time, it says in memorials. I'm sure you can see that we are, we are trying to, to hit home now. Are we together? So there was this famous, hallelujah, this famous uh, emperor, whatever, Augustus Caesar. After a famous battle, he said, I want, a, I want a, 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 one of the best soldiers to ride with me here. Mm. In fact, he wanted the best soldier actually to ride with him on his chariot. Are we together? Amen. And show the world that this is how I can reward my soldiers. Mm. Are we together? Amen. Then what did they do? They all went to the parade and they were shining their shoes. They were, you know, some of them had new uniforms. 
Imagine, you have a new uniform after the battle. That shows that you ran away from war. <laughs> How do you have a new, new uniform after the battle? Well, so some people were, were such, you know, they, were, you know some, they say some people are wise, some are otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine someone bringing a new uniform. I mean, you can't bring a new uniform. It means you didn't go to war. Hallelujah. Yeah. So they were, Prabhupada tr- says, they were trimming their brooms. You know, some of them were polishing their shoes and all that. You can imagine there was one day that was doing some assaults, brother. Hallelujah. Yeah. Too much energy. If you see someone who has too much energy, brother, they are who don't testify, they don't read the Bible, they don't pray, they don't fast. Are we together? Amen. How do you have so much energy after a battle? Mm. He's looking for a warrior that fought in the battle. Mm. In the meantime, brother, hello, there was a man that didn't even know how to salute. But in the meantime, there was, I mean, just that time there was a, a big parade there. Oh, the prophet talks about it. Let me just read how the message puts it here. And he said to them, I want some men to ride, some worthy men to ride by my side while I'm doing this. Say, I want some men to share these blessings with me. And oh, it went through the camps. All the officers trimmed their plumes. They Amen. polished their swords. Imagine. Amen. You are still polishing your sword. There's a guy who lost his sword because he actually fought bare hands to kill the enemy. Amen. You still have the sword. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if you're following what I'm coming to. Amen. The trial of your feet, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All the officers trimmed their plumes and polished their swords and made their armors right, real bright. You still have your armor. There's a guy who lost everything in the battle. Amen. And no doubt they didn't even consider that guy. They told him, no, it's full now. Yeah, it's full. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go to sleep, chief. Go to sleep, chief. <laughs> chief, you are sick from the battle. S- sleep. Hallelujah. I'm trying to put it in a way that you can understand. Amen. And yet, practice standing straight and certain salute and a certain salute to their king and so forth. And each one walked up. Brother, they still had a step, brother. Mm. These soldiers still had a step. Some of them had a spring. They still had a spring. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, there's a guy who can't even walk. Yeah. I want you to come. I want you to come to that part. And they came up. Officer. Officer with his big. Okay. He says here. And this one, each one walked up. They are big armor before them. And he set out here, there on the throne watching. So this king is just watching, right? Mm. And they came up, officer with his big fine plume, just feather edge. Hallelujah. He stood and made his salute. Caesar shook his head. I think this, this king had some more resentment. Mm. You say, you're still saluting like that. Amen. Did you go to, to war? Mm. He walked away. Another came up, made his salute. Caesar shook his head and walked away. Time after time, soldier after soldier. Mm. Finally, way down along the line, came Amen. a little footman. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The other guys were probably parking big cars there, parking a hammer there, mm. or whatever. You know, they say, I'm general so and so, lieutenant so and so. Hallelujah. Amen. Parking big cars. There. But then there came a man that he was just like a footman. I mean, <laughs> he didn't have any badges, whatever. Amen. He didn't have any shield to polish. Mm. Hallelujah. Do we have a believer like that? Amen. A believer that has gone through the trial, brother. You can see how humble they are. Mm. A believer that, gone, that has gone through the trial of their faith, brother. Hallelujah, brother, sister. They don't have any shield to polish. They're not here to show off. They're not here to boast to anyone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Neither did he have a plume to trim, but he walked up in front of Caesar. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. He didn't even know how to make the right kind of salute, the mm. prophet says. Amen. And he just bowed his head and walked away. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Caesar said, wait a minute. Who are you? Come back here. Amen. He walked up there. He looked at him. Amen. There was scars over his face. Amen. Amen. This guy, brother, was at war. He really went to war. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The other guys, brother, they knew how to salute. They knew how to do summer swords and whatever. And polish. Mm. Shields and swords. Are we together with this Amen. guy, brother? He was really there. Hallelujah. In the face of the battle. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This, there's scars over his face and cut. Hallelujah. No doubt was the enemy's knife, brother, that almost cut the guy's throat, whatever. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. But he survived by the grace of God. And Amen. disfigured and crippled up. The prophet mm. He was disfigured and crippled up. Say, where did he get them scars at? Mm. He said, 
out in the battle fighting for my Lord Caesar. Glory. Say, climb up here. Sit down by my side. You are the one that's been tested and proved. Amen. Amen. Brother, it's not bloom trimming time. It's not educational days. It's time testing time. Amen. It's a time that God is testing his church to find the battle scars. Yeah. Yeah. Hard trials and fights and battles. Amen. That's the one you go right by his side. Amen. Are we here tonight, saints? Amen. You want to ride with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Must Jesus bear the cross alone? Amen. And all the old go free. Amen. Hallelujah. You have a cross to bear, brother. Amen. You have a cross to bear, sister. Amen. Hallelujah. Right there in the class. Hallelujah. Let people make fun of you and say, why does she dress like this? And that's your cross. That's your stars. Amen. That's your cats. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But if you run away from that, they say, you know, these men are carrying crosses. Hallelujah. This man said, my cross is heavy. Hallelujah. Let me cut my cross. I want to walk a bit faster. Hallelujah. Mm. He cut his cross, brother. He cut his cross a bit. He said, no, I'm not going to cut all of it. I'm just cutting it a bit. <laughs> he carried a little more. He said, good zima. Hallelujah. He cut the cross a little more, brother. Yeah. The journey was long. The journey we were traveling is long. Brother. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's, Amen. it's a long journey, brother. This is not a sprint. Hallelujah. This is a marathon. Yeah. You're in a marathon. Don't cut your cross. Hallelujah. You cut it now. You cut it there. You cut it there. You know what happened? They were going to cross a river. Amen. And when they were going to cross the river, they said, Did you know that you are supposed to cross the river with your cross? Mm. The guy could, couldn't cross, brother. He tried. He tried. He, he almost went back to look for those pieces. But how do you glue them up? You can't cross. Because the cross was meant for you to cross. Amen. Are we together tonight? Amen. Amen. Do you want to cross from the world to Christ? Oh. Hallelujah. You must bear that reproach. Amen. The prophet brings a message that reproach for the gospel. Mm. Do you know the gospel is a reproach? Mm. If you see everyone like you, ah, uh, you're not a Christian. Mm. I'm, I have bad news. Mm. If you see that everyone loves you here, the university, the university, everyone loves you here, Amen. you are not a Christian. Mm. I can guarantee you. That if everyone loves you here, I don't want to get into my into testimony. <laughs> God has helped me. You know, students, I've got students voting for me to be the best lecturer, what what? But brother, and you can see that there's students who don't like you. <laughs> you can see that there's people who don't like you. I don't want the way I say, with right here business, when I walk, I can see that the people don't like me. <laughs> you know why they don't like me? Because I'm very strict. <laughs> They want to drink, they want to do everything else that they must do. But my contract tells me that I'm there to enforce discipline. And they know when Dr. Mlambo is around, there's no nonsense. Yeah. Amen. I will Amen. I'm not trying to make you like a cute joy, whatever. But you know, the prophet talks about it. When he talks about the other prophets like Elijah, he says they call Elijah a cute joy. Mm. Brother, I identify with that. I kill joy. Hallelujah! <laughs> 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 We are, we are in an educational institution. I always remind the students that I am in the race with them. Brother, you must visit us and see how I operate. But I'm going to give us a lot of was in my race last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the people want to do everything they want to do. They want to operate like we're in blockchain. And I went there, where they invest. Do you know what we're here for? We're here for study. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, we can allow you to do something, whatever. But the moment you start disturbing other people, we're going to kill that too. <laughs> Hallelujah. So what are we talking about, brother? Try. Hallelujah. There is a reproach. Oh, yeah. God. Amen. People don't want to hear about the reproach. They want to hear about the blessing. Mm. Yeah. Do you know that the blessing comes after the reproach? Yeah. That's why the messenger preaches the message. Possessing the gates of the enemy after trial. Yeah. Are we together? Yeah. I hope what you're saying is very clear. Mm. There's going to be a trial before the blessing. Mm. Are we together? If you are a seed of God, of course. I'm assuming that you are a seed of God. If you are not a seed of God, I mean, God can, God can let you have a Lamborghini and go to hell. He does not care about it. someone who is lost. <laughs> Hallelujah. But if you are a seed of God, brother, before you even get that degree, you are going to try it. Amen. Have you seen how difficult it is for Christians even to be rich? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy for an unbeliever to be rich. You know that. <laughs> The brothers, uh, all these eyes say, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy for, for, for an unbeliever. Have you seen?
seen how adulterers can change cars. They are of this world. That's what the scripture says. They are of this world. You, you are not of this world. You are of a different world. God would rather have you in heaven than have you, than have you with the Lamborghini. God would rather have you with the Holy Ghost than have you with the house if you can't handle that house. Amen. If you can handle that house, he has to give you more. Mm. But if you can't handle the house, there's how many Christians, when they get the first car, even a, even a task, they can't come to church. <laughs> <laughs> with a Toyota tax, you can't come to church. <laughs> how is God going to give you a BMW? <laughs> <laughs> God is more interested in your character than your comfort. Amen. But, I mean, what, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I can use an example to illustrate what I'm talking about. To my child here, yeah, hallelujah. Amen. I wouldn't buy him a chocolate as we leave the service now. I wouldn't buy him a chocolate. But if you ask me that you want the chocolate, I can give you. I'm not buying for him, not because I can't afford. I'm not buying for him. I'm buying for you, uh, not just to show or whatever. But I wouldn't care if you are. If you get too much energy and you can't sleep, I wouldn't care. Uh, you, you get what I'm talking about. You get what I'm trying to come to. But for my children, Amen. I care. Amen. You understand? Amen. So, God doesn't care if an unbeliever has a Lamborghini. Mm. I mean, what, what does it mean to God? A Lamborghini is a, it's a very small thing compared to the soul that God is interested in. Amen. God is interested in your soul. Your Amen. soul is more precious. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's why the Bible says here, the trial of your faith is much more precious than gold. Yeah. How much Lamborghinis do you think gold can buy? A kg of gold. Do the estimation for us. Is someone doing mining here, whatever? Mining engineering, whatever. The point I'm trying to bring is your faith is more precious than gold. Amen. Amen. Are we together, saints? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's not an easy message, I know. But, you know, we, we talked about this the other time. We said, this is the kind of message that you need when you're going through the valley. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Do you know your character is molded in the valley? Yeah. Yeah. Your, mo- your character is not molded on the mountain top, brother. Mm. Hallelujah! Sometimes God allows you to be excluded mm. from the university. Right. To do what? To mold your character. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's very really easy for you the first three days if you are two days from it. <laughs> first you will come automatically, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> oh Jesus. My brother. Do you remember we talked about this? Uh, I'm trying to connect with some of the things that we talked about the other time. We talked about you shall be like a tree planted by the beavers. Yeah. Psalm chapter one. Mm. It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Mm. Where do you find rivers? Um, in the valley. Mm. Go to the message and check what Brabram talks about. Brabram talks about in the message the resolution of the right. He mm. says, the rivers are found in the valley. Mm. Mm. And it is in the valley where you find the nutrients. Mm. How many trees do you see in the valley? There is a lot of trees in the how many trees do you see on the mountain top? Very few trees. Well, there's no nutrients there. You people who do deep geography and water, they tell you about exfoliation and the nutrients are washed down. Correct? Yeah. Where do they go? They go to the valley. The rivers are in the valley. And now the Bible says, He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers. Amen. So where is this tree? Is it on top of the mountain? No. No. It's in the valley. Amen. I think it was like four years ago or something. When I visited, so I went to do some meetings, and there was a preacher there from the UK who preached about the valley of persecution. Yeah. You can hear the yards. <laughs> <laughs> the valley of persecution. It is in the valley, brother. Life is actually all about the valley. Amen. Yeah. Do you know, I was, I was teasing my wife the other day. I was teasing my wife the other day, <laughs> saying that adulting, adulting is very difficult. <laughs> do you know, it's, it's very easy to be a student. You go to DH, you, you get food, you go to the library, you open the book, and you start. One day when you're an adult, you see how difficult life is. There's children that you must feed, there's a book that you must read, there's work that you must do, you must still pray, you must still help the neighbor. 
But right now, if there's no money in the account, it's very messy, right? <laughs> Death or whatever. I mean, I'm running out of facts. <laughs> you're coming to the valley. In the meantime, you're thinking that ah, when I complete my degree, I'm going to be in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> there's no heaven waiting for you when you complete your degree. <laughs> it's going to be troubles, brother. <laughs> I don't know why I must preach like this. But this is what helps the people I know. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, as we close, do you realize that there's many examples in the Bible of those in my life? Do you realize that there's many examples of trial? Abraham was tried. Mm. The Hebrew boys were tried. Yeah. Sarah was tried. Mm. But the Daniel was tried. Yeah. Imagine the lions. Like I was trying to say the other day, when I was preaching at some funeral, hey, that's on Tuesday, you know, I almost. I couldn't believe that I was going to be able to preach today. I was so tired. But by the grace of God, I think some of these young brothers here, they must catch up fire. I don't know why they're taking so... I don't know why they're so slow to preach this, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was talking there. You know, how about the Barnum? Oh, my, my brother, my sister. But Barnum talks about, you, you, you know, the, the trial. I mean, the examples. We're talking about the examples now. I'm just losing, losing my thought. Uh, because brother, every one of you brothers to preach. He said, this one, his father is a pastor. Mm. Hallelujah. I think there's many brothers here who are coming from uh, a solid message. But I don't know why they can't preach. Honestly, I think we must just put them in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think we must just put them in the fire and say, brother, please preach for us. Hey. Hallelujah. So I'm losing my thought. But we talk about examples. You know, yeah, the example is coming back to me. I was, I was talking about this on Tuesday. You know, how you find that Brother Brown talks about the fact that the lions were kept hungry for many days. Are we to hear? The lions where Daniel was thrown. Do you know some people can try and theorize it? The theologians maybe can try and theorize it and say, ah, it was too cold or whatever. I don't know how theory, what theory they can give. But they are unbelievers. Theologians are unbelievers. They can theorize that, you know, that the, when the children of Israel walked on reeds. <laughs> because they didn't have enough faith to accept that they walked on, uh, I mean, the, the Lord separated the water. Are we together? Yeah. So in terms of Daniel, they might try and theorize it and say, ah, maybe it was too cold, the lions were freezing. <laughs> I don't know what theory they would put. But, do you know the prophet says, those lions were kept hungry for many days. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah! Yeah. Yeah. They were kept hungry, brother. Yeah. I don't know where they got the name hungry lions. <laughs> 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 they probably got it from them. These lions were kept hungry for many days, brother. Yeah. God wanted to show that no matter how hungry those lions are, yeah. I can close their mouths. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter how hard it is to be a Christian and beat, Hallelujah. Amen. You can be a Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. One, it's shown that they say one are you. Yeah. You know, when the taxi drivers, my brother, mm -hmm. when the taxi drivers, they are, they, are, they are about to leave, you know what they say? They say, well, you know what we see is. <laughs> they look for one who is serious, brother. Who wants to go to town? <laughs> Hallelujah! The text won't leave before that one comes. Yeah. I will all go into the rapture, brother, before you come in. Amen. Hallelujah! They look for one who is serious. One who can remain a Christian, even in this atmosphere. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Well, me, they knew me when I was studying, brother. They knew that this guy, even homework, he does not shame. <laughs> <laughs> I was a king joy. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife told me what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Bro, I would wear suits to go to lecture. Right? Everyone knew that this one, this one is a no nonsense. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bro, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about a Christian that can remain a Christian. Hallelujah. Yeah. You can't come here, brother, and you know, you're trying to feed. You don't have to feed to any nonsense of anyone here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you are an individual. Yeah. You are an individual. You can stand by yourself. One with God is a majority. Yeah. Yeah. That's the quotation. Yeah. But says, one with God is a majority. Yeah. They will sing which for brother and you can lock your door and say, I'm not coming for which. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you want to sing with me, come here and sing only with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not coming to sing which. Hallelujah. Brother and sister, the trial of our faith. Let us sing to our feet. Hallelujah. You know, they want to build a bridge. It's one of the course that he took this in memorials. I won't read it. I'll just paraphrase it. They wanted to bring them to build a bridge, I think, from north to south, Sydney or something in Australia. You know what they did? Hallelujah! They found that there was shifting sands. Mm -hmm. And when they found that there was shifting sands, they said it cannot be done. Yeah. I went together. 
It cannot be done. Mission impossible. This project is impossible. Hallelujah. All the architects, they refused that job. But there was one that came from England. My brother says he was an, a young architect from England. And he says, I can build that bridge. He says, do you realize what you're getting into? He says, I can build that bridge. You know what he did? He studied the situation. He studied the atmosphere. Everything was studied there. And he realized that, oh, okay, there's so much uh, shifting sense there. But on the bottom there, there's a rock. Mm-hmm. Are we together? Yeah. And what did he do? He took, he took there some big pumps, the prophet said. He took some big pumps there. They, you know, they, they pumped the sand out of that sea. Amen. That's what we're doing in the preaching. Yeah. We are packing out the dust. We are packing out that pirate gold, brother. Hallelujah! Amen. That's make belief of you think that you must fit. You're not here to fit. You are here to get 100% and go and become a very prominent whatever you want to be. Amen. You're not here to fit with people and say, I mean, you're just here for three years. Yes, anyway. yeah. so of us are doing three years degrees and all that. I mean, three years is a very easy time for you to remain a Christian, I believe. Hallelujah! Pump out the doubt, my brother. That's what we are doing. So this man pumped out all that shifting sense. And the prophet, I love how the prophet dramatizes and puts it there, you know. He said, you know, this man, you know what he did? He took, hallelujah, the, he, he took, he, he got the best engineers. He got the best architect, whoever, hallelujah, was required there. He got the best. Mm. And he got the best balls. He got the best nuts, whatever, you know. He made sure that when they're not going to the rock, oh, what is the rock now? That's the foundation. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Amen. 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 Can we bow our heads? Hallelujah. Don't you want to go to the foundation? Mm. Hallelujah. Maybe, you know, you were going to church, you know, on Sunday, or maybe even here, you're coming also just to show your face or whatever, you know. We appreciate that. But let us go to the foundation. Amen. Let us go to the foundation. Hallelujah. Where you can have faith in God. Where you can believe that He is the reward of them that diligently seek Him. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, they put hallelujah, those nice big bowls there. They were claimed properly, brother. Hallelujah. The best bowls you could ever find. Hallelujah. He built the bridge there. Hallelujah. 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 They tested that bridge, my brother, my sister. And some people were saying that bridge was going to fall. But this man had confidence in his bridge. He said, I'm going to be in front there. Hallelujah. When they were testing that bridge, that's what, that's what Jesus is doing tonight. Hallelujah. He's not taking the back seat. He's in the front, my brother, my sister. He's leading your life. Hallelujah. Do you want to pray in your own way and say, Lord, find me faithful? That's how the prophet ends that message. I think Tem- 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 Memorial says, Lord, find me faithful. When he tests me, Lord, find me faithful. Do you want him to find you faithful tonight? When they make fun of you in the classroom and say, look at this old woman wearing a skirt. Hallelujah. God, find me faithful. My brother. Hallelujah. When they make fun of you and say, I've never seen a man that can't drink beer. Hallelujah. May God find you faithful in that residence, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us all pray your own way. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father. Lord, trying to just encourage your children here, Lord God. Maybe something a bit cutting, something a bit hard. Maybe there's some ear somewhere. But Lord God Almighty, this is how we believe that you, Lord God, God Almighty, strengthen them, Lord. Heavenly Father, in the time of trials, in the time of need, I pray that you help them, Lord God Almighty. May that faith, Lord God, find a place. Hallelujah, Lord God, that it can stand in. Oh God, Heavenly Father, Lord God, rest on the eternal word of the word of God. Eternal rock of the word of God. I pray, Lord God, for every brother, every sister, every believer, every Christian, every visitor that could make it tonight. Lord God Almighty, Lord God, maybe there's something that was said, Lord God, in a way that was not really supposed to be put. Lord God, may you bless it in their hearts. Lord God, may the Holy Ghost, I pray, forgive, Lord God, whatever we might have said. Lord God Almighty, that might have, Lord God, cause of damage somewhere. But Lord God, we believe this to be your way. We believe this to be what you want us to say. Lord God Almighty, to encourage, Lord God Almighty, someone who is in the valley. I pray tonight, Lord God, for the trial of our faith is much more precious than the trial of gold. Hallelujah, Lord God, as we are praying in our own way, Lord God Almighty, we are going through different trials. We are going through different challenges, different tests and temptations. Lord God, God Almighty, but Lord, you wouldn't allow a trial, you wouldn't allow a temptation to come our way. Lord God, if you if you have not seen that we have enough equipment, enough capacity to, oh God, withstand whatever the devil can put on us. Lord God, I pray tonight, Lord God Almighty. There are some, some here writing tests, Lord. Heavenly Father, as we go through those tests, may they have a testimony. At the end of that test, Lord, hallelujah, like Enoch, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, like Noah, Lord God Almighty, may they be a testimony. Lord God Almighty, that God carried me through. Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, no matter how difficult their challenge, the challenges can be. Lord God, the studies 
Lord God, some are going through very difficult qualifications. Lord God Almighty, but Lord God Almighty, you can undertake for them. You can give them grace, Lord God, even in those tests and those trials. I pray tonight, Lord God Almighty, Lord God, that you bless your way to our hearts. Bless this little gathering, Lord God Almighty, trying to keep the flag of the message high here. Lord Jesus Christ, in this chaos, Lord God, out there, Lord God, the flashing red lights, the signs of your coming. Lord God Almighty, we see those flashing red lights. Lord God Almighty, in national politics, we see those flashing red lights. Lord God, in Lord moral decay, we see those flashing red lights. Lord God, in perfection, Lord God Almighty, but we realize, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, there is a message, Lord God Almighty, that will overcome, Lord God, every trial, every temptation, Lord God Almighty, Lord God, hallelujah, the end time message who meets the end time conditions. Lord God Almighty, Lord God, you said your, your son told us, told us, Lord, that Lord God, faith is not just a peacemaker. Lord, it beats down, it overrides, it handcuffs, and it throws into prison. That's what I drink tonight, Lord, we're throwing that down into prison. We're throwing that, Lord God, Heavenly Father, disappointment into prison. Tonight, bless your people. Every, Lord God, student that could, Lord God, sacrifice their time just to come and listen to your word. May you bless them, Lord. We pray your blessing, Lord, of our children. I pray, Lord God Almighty, Lord God, those that need transport, undertake for them, Lord. Give grace, Lord, to each and every one. Lord God, those that need bezaries, thou knowest, Lord God, that there is a blessing after that trial. We commit everything to your hands tonight, Lord. Bless, Lord God Almighty, those that couldn't make it tonight. Lord God, many different commitments. Bless your people, we ask. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, maybe someone, somewhere, Lord, raising your hand, Lord God, on the live stream there, give them grace, Lord God Almighty. Lord God, they might be studying at a different institution, but Lord God, what you're saying here might be resonating with their hearts. May you bless them, Lord. You commit everything to your hands now tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the end of our meeting. Amen. I believe this was a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, messages like this, hallelujah, you might not know that you need it, but when you go through the trial, these are the things that you might need you to remember. Hallelujah. That God is more than able. Hallelujah. To take you through that trial. Hallelujah. Let's just sing maybe a song. Hallelujah. As we about to dismiss. Hallelujah. One of the brothers there will just close for us in a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Let's just sing a song. Maybe a worship song. Hallelujah. Is a song that someone can lead us? Hallelujah. We are hallelujah or someone, something. Let's sing a nice vernacular song. Amen. Can someone lead us into a nice song there.